Hi, this is Lauren Satterwhite with the NC Medicaid EHR Incentive Program. After you submit your attestation on NC MIPS and we receive all your required documentation, our team validates your attestation. If there are issues, we'll conduct outreach. We send outreach via email to the contact email address you give when you attest on NC MIPS. So be sure that the email address you gave us is one that's checked often. Our email will explain the issue and give you instructions on how to correct the problem or give you questions to review in order to fix it. We'll discuss that in just a minute. You'll have 15 days to correct the issue. But here's a rundown of what we're looking for. First, we're checking that you sent us all the required documentation within 15 days of submitting the attestation on NC MIPS. This includes the sign attestation summary, the MU objective summary page, the CQM summary page, and the CQM report directly from the EP's EHR. These need to be physically signed and dated by the attesting provider. It cannot be a stamp or an e-signature, and the signature date should not precede the most recently submitted attestation. If you recently submitted your attestation on March 1st, the signature date on all the pages should be March 1st or later. After we get all the required documents, we check that the provider's name, site address, payee information, license information, and group affiliation are valid. If something doesn't match between CMS and NC Tracks, if it's invalid, or if it isn't listed on NC Tracks, we'll tell you the issue and give you instructions for updating it on CMS's RNA or adding it to NC Tracks. Next, we're going to verify that you have a valid and certified EHR technology. 2014 editions of CERT are fine if you're testing to modified Stage 2 in program year 2017, but Stage 3 objectives require a 2015 certified system or a 2014-2015 combination edition of CERT only if it can capture the Stage 3 objectives and measures. So check CHAPEL before you attest to make sure that you're capturing MU data in a certified system. And be sure to update that CERT number on CMS's RNA system. Just a warning, Stage 3 is going to be required in program, year, uh, program years 2018 and beyond, so you'll need to upgrade your CERT soon if you haven't already. We're also going to check that your patient volume information is valid. If there are any issues, we'll let you know. Typically, we'll send you a list of questions for you to review, and oftentimes that will resolve the issue. Sometimes PV errors can be as simple as a typo, so review those questions carefully against what you've submitted in NC MIPS. If you make updates on CMS's RNA system or make changes to your attestation in NC MIPS, send us the complete and updated sign attestation. This includes all MU summary pages. If you've made an update to NC Tracks, like adding a site location or group affiliation, and it doesn't immediately get added, we ask that you send us a screenshot of the status and management page. The Manage Change request will read in review after you submit a request to update a provider's information. We provide instructional PDFs from NC Tracks on how to add a site location and group affiliation, and a PDF that shows a screenshot of what we're looking for uh, when we ask for a screenshot of the status and management page. These PDFs will be attached in the outreach email, and they can also be found on our website under the Provider Registration and Attestation tab. Again, all the information will be in the outreach emails, so please review the email in its entirety to make sure that you're sending us everything we need to process your attestation. If there are issues, we'll send an email to the contact person's information in NC MIPS explaining the issue, and we'll give you instructions for fixing the problem. Again, you have 15 days to address the discrepancy. If the issue is not fixed within 15 days, you'll receive a five-day adverse action. This will be your final warning. If the issue is still not fixed, you will be denied, but you can reattest without penalty. And with that, when I say that, I mean if the program year hasn't ended, if you're attesting for a program for your second payment year and you were denied, you can reattest for your second payment year, so you're not penalized in that way. The only caveat is that you need six years of successful participation to earn the full incentive payment. So be sure you attest successfully for a total of six years before um, the end of program year 2021. There are two reasons that an attestation would be auto-denied. Either you didn't submit a complete and valid meaningful use measure set, which NCMIPS will give you warnings after warning um, to be sure to correct that and submit valid data, 
or if you attest to less than 20% patient volume. If you do either one of these things, you will receive an email explaining that you were denied and you'll be told why. So to sum it up, when you receive an email from us telling you that there's something wrong with your attestation, don't panic. We'll explain the issue, we'll give you instructions on how to correct the problem, and we'll give you time to resolve it. We do provide lots of resources, and one of our biggest resources is our help desk. So send us an email anytime to ncmedicaid.hit at dhhs.nc.gov. Thanks for tuning in, and please let us know if you have any questions.